Hi everyone and welcome to this new lab workshop. My name is Caroline and today I would like to show you how to formulate a sun care product with organic UV filters. To do this, we'll use our extremely soft protection SPF 30 as an example and we'll share tips on how to improve the stability, efficacy and sensoriality of an organic sun care product. Let's first have a look at the formula. We chose an all-in-water formula, which are typically harder to stabilize with organic UV filters due to a larger oil phase, but we like challenges. So, we chose Emilium Dolcea MB, the most robust of our natural emulsifiers, capable of emulsifying a high amount of oil phase and bringing a very soft afterfill to all kinds of formulations. Here are the organic UV filters, each having its own efficacy against UVA, UVB or both. In fact, to comply with European regulations on sun care products, the UVA-UVB ratio must be equal to one third. We have chosen organic filters that have the least impact on aquatic ecosystems and guarantee sufficient protection. The first formulation tip is to ensure good solubilization of organic UV filters in the oil phase. Keep in mind, however, that each filter has its preferred emollients. Therefore, it's important to review all the information provided on an ingredient and to run tests to see which emollient would best solubilize each filter. Moreover, Make sure that organic UV filters remain solubilized over time at room temperature and 4 degrees Celsius. We also added two SPF boosters, which brings us to our second formulation tip. We know that a higher SPF means a higher oil phase and a significant impact on the final sensory of the formula. Using SPF boosters helps to increase the final SPF without having to increase the percentage of UV filters or oil phase, thereby maintaining a favorable sensory profile. Then, we put in an aqueous gelling agent. Our third and final tip is to be mindful of the other ingredients, as a select few require careful consideration. This guideline applies to the emulsifier since it will affect the final stability and sensoriality of the product and is the reason we chose Emilium Dolcea MB in this case. And it also applies to gelling agents, which impact the thickness of the protective film and spreadability of the finished product. Finally, two water-resistant agents have been added to improve the environmental impact of the formula. Indeed, one way to protect the aquatic ecosystem is to use sunscreen products that remain on the skin and do not end up in the oceans, lakes or rivers. Let's prepare our formula. We begin with the oil phase preparation and solubilization of the organic UV filters. The oil phase is heated to 82 degrees Celsius. Then we prepare the aqueous phase by heating water to 75 degrees Celsius and adding the aqueous gelling agent. Let's go for the emulsification, which is done at 75 degrees Celsius under high shear for 15 minutes. The formula is then cooled at 45 degrees Celsius to allow the incorporation of SPF booster predisposed in butylene glycol. Then the formula is homogenized with ultra turex to ensure proper dispersion of the SPF booster. The formula is then cooled at 30 degrees Celsius to allow for the addition of other ingredients. And at the end, we obtain a light yellow, creamy and glossy formula. It spreads easily during application and quickly penetrates, leaving a very soft and non-greasy film on the skin. This sunscreen product has an SPF 30, provides UVA protection and conforms with most regulations 